Good morning, my fellow subscribers, viewers, and audience. This is your host, aka Art by Dragon's Light, Journeyman Wizard of Great School of Wizardry. So, as I upload my new content, my new, the most latest current collage, painting, artwork, abstract, I'm going to break it down in phases. As always, I'm grateful to all my audience, subscribers, and viewers, new joiners, old joiners. This is visual arts related channel. This is magical, mystical, and spiritual. Touches it all. As always, I'm grateful to the Divine Spirit, to God, to Holy Mother Earth, to the elements. So let's start. Okay, let me share. So here we see, of course, there's a pencil. <laughs> I use this pencil. And then I always use, try to use this brand, Emerald Glue Clear. There's another emerald they make. It's like a purplish looking one. Uh, that's also good, but uh, clear one is better. Uh, when I do a cutout with my, whatchamacallit, elements of my collage. Uh, just like this one, that's an element right there. That's the element right there. That's an element right there. But actually, they are S I G I L. Okay. Uh, I use these metallic paint sticks. Uh, if you work with metal, metallic, metal related to metal, is a metal magic or metals, maybe gold, tin, copper, silver. Uh, other concept within metal magic with a K. So use metallic paints. All right, it's simple. So here's the design, and then I bought this. Uh, this was half and half, half marker and half paint sticks. So it was a good buy. So I purchased this, and then of course there they are. They are double tipped. It's called dual tipped. New, they have ink in them. As they dry, the ink runs out. They don't work good these are chalk sticks I also use chalk in my artwork in my collage time to time and of course these are from the same kit but they are like thin they are dual tip it's almost like one end is very thin sharp the other one is almost like a brush so you can do brush strokes if you wish to of course uh, there we are with one of the elements it's a S I G I L. There is another major one that I have. So if you, you can see there's a metallic color out there, right? Uh, so it's related to the element colors uh, air, water, fire, uh, earth, and sun, moon, and of course, black and white. And gray but right now i think i've used only silver gold black red green purple blue and yellow i don't mind sharing this with my audience my viewers out there because uh i know what i'm doing right <laughs> I know what I'm doing and I know what my desires are, my wishes, what my intent is, uh, and what my aims and goals are, right? Aims and goals, right? Uh, so, and I use, I, I use Eastern philosophy, Western philosophy, Eastern magic, Western magic. I combine them both. So it becomes a fusion. So there you are, uh, red and green and gold color. Uh, this is before adding the color. There you have it. That's what it's going to look like. Uh, this swirlies that you see up there, I call them swirly, <laughs> swirly, uh, swirls. Uh, they, are, they are representing galaxies and space and whatnot. Okay. In the space, there's a dark space, then the cloud, atmosphere, 
planet Earth, same concept, right? The division between the unseen and seen world. Let's put it this way. Okay, so this shape of the sword that you see almost looks like a man over here. Two arms fading and then he's got... But actually this is a sword that belongs to Imam Ali, the first Imam of the Shia within Shia tradition. And this is known, known and called as Zulfikar. Okay, uh, we move forward. As you can see the layout and the design, okay, it, it's coming along. It is coming along one piece at a time. Um, I use a lot of stencils. I use, uh, there's a lot of creativity, a lot of creativity, a lot of imagination going on, a uh, lot of thinking, planning, right? Now, this word is in Hindi, Sanskrit, you may call it. It is known as Dinijan Nirika. Within the science, may it be physics, quantum physics, uh, how you want to say it, string theory, other stuff put together, it's known as the Big Bang. Nirijan Nirika. Okay? Uh, you can look it up. <laughs> and this two letters, you see 66, is actually 66. That belongs to Allah in mathematical format. And 110, that belongs to Imam Ali. Okay, in math mathematical formations. Uh, the power of mathematics. Now, if you go back to Greek philosophers, uh, you know, they say the mathematics is the language of the universe. Okay, and certain numbers have certain powers, right? Uh, and uh, you raise when you use certain numbers to a different level. Uh, let's put it that way. Okay, so as we go down, as we go down, and of course the lion, lion, lion is a symbol, it goes back to Imam Ali, the lion of God, the lion of Allah, okay, and of course I use the scissor to cut my collage elements, and uh, of course I use this cutting block, you may have seen it before, and these uh, exacto knife, very sharp. Be very careful. Uh, practice makes perfect. Uh, my cutting is very perfect. I trim out the fat, right? And then uh, I I design and I do a layout, right? And then here, as add, I add colors. You can see the uh, face going through. Look at that. Look at this. And you look at that. And you look at this. And uh, as oh, I'm gonna stop over here. Okay, I'm gonna stop over here because I went too far. <laughs> I went too far. So it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but I'm gonna stop over here. I'm gonna upload the next content. This is just a preview. What you're gonna see and. Uh, some of you may like it, some of you may not. Different strokes, different frogs. Each to his own, right? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? So I'm going to stop over here. That's like uh, considered the preview of what's to come, right? Share, grow, learn. Educate, share, grow, learn, educate, share, grow, learn, and educate. If you like, you subscribe. If you like, you subscribe. If you like, you subscribe. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Till the next time.